What's up guys? Whoa, check out this title screen. The ladies of Tekken, such as Nina Williams, Asuka Kazama, Josie Rizal, Ling Xiaoyu, and Lucky Chloe. Yeah, this main menu is awesome. And Lily Rockford, yeah. All right, so, and oh, there's Eliza the Vampire. And then there's uh, Katarina, I think that's her name. All right, what's up guys? What's the rest of 15? I'm being distracted by this main menu. All right, listen. I'm revisiting Tekken 7. Why? Because, you know, this game's been out for like the past two years. And this game's great. Uh, everybody, you should get this game. Especially now, it's on the cheaps. You can get this game for like literally $20 brand new. I, I literally walked into Walmart and I just saw like seven copies of it there for 20 bucks brand new. I'm like, this, this game is so easy to get now. I remember I bought this game on, on, like not on launch date, but like when the game was two weeks old. And some guy was nice enough to sell me the game for like $30 back then. Cause keep in mind the game was like 60 bucks, still brand new and then $55 like used. But a guy actually sold it to me for 30 bucks back in the day. So two years later, you know, and that's how much you can get it for now. So like you can get it for 20 bucks. Listen, everyone, I'm not here to talk about, you know, the pricing of this game. Listen, everyone, the real reason why is cause I want to just play an arcade battle of Tekken 7. Why? I don't know. I mean, I just, I don't know. I'm just in the mood to revisit a classic game and I, I like Tekken. I'm a huge Tekken fan and I want to revisit it. So as you can see guys, there's been a massive update since I played this game. I, I played this game about a year and a half ago on my channel. This was like one of my first gameplay videos I did on this channel. Unless you guys want to get technical and go on my Rosie the Rascal Games 15 channel. Remember back in the day I used to have a gaming channel? But yeah, in case if anybody's wondering what I read by that channel, uh, it died. I, I gave up on that channel, so nobody go subscribe to that channel. Alright, listen everyone. I'm here to play Tekken 7. Now, first of all, the thing that the biggest update this game has gotten over the past, you know, year is that it's gotten new characters such as Geese Howard from Tekken. I mean, Tekken. Geese Howard from uh, Fatal Fury, Noctis from Final Fantasy uh, 15, and then of course some Tekken classics like Anna Williams, Lei Wu Long, Armor King, Craig Marduk, Julia Chang, and Negan from The Walking Dead. Yes, everyone, you're not, you're, yeah, you're not, no. If you're wearing glasses, if you take them off and put them back on, it's still gonna say Negan. If you don't wear glasses and you're squinting your eyes right now and like rubbing your eyes, you know, with your hands, don't. This is actually what you're witnessing. Yes, Negan from The Walking Dead in a Tekken game. Why? I, I don't know the connection. What does Walking Dead have to do with a fighting game? I don't see the, if anything, I thought Negan would be a guest character in like Mortal Kombat. Because at least that has like horror movie characters and you know Negan's from a horror movie show. Y you know what I mean? Okay, listen, listen, we're not here to talk about Negan. So who are we going to play as? I don't know. Um, so I, you know, in the past I played as Law on this channel and I played as Nina. So I don't know who to play as. Honestly, there's so many characters in this game. I think I might play as Leo because she was one of my favorite characters. Or I might play as Elisa. You know, I'll play as Elisa. She's pretty fun. So I have some custom outfits here, which, you know, you got to make them. So I don't know what outfit to use. Some of these are really nice. I think I'll use this one, actually. Alisa Boskanovich, yes. I think that's a, a, a Russian name or German name. I don't remember. No, I think it's Russian, the name, the Boskanovich. Um, yeah, I think it's a Russian name. She's a robot, everyone, in case anyone's wondering. By the way, no, I haven't got an MK11, in case anyone was wondering. Like, Rosie, have you got a Mortal Kombat 11? No, I haven't. I'm still waiting for that game to hit a massive price drop. Oh, wow, look at that outfit I picked. Yeah, I made this outfit, by the way. This is custom, you know, custom made. Aw, oh, look, Chloe, you're so adorable, but it's time for you to die. Yeah! Oh, God. Okay, I might be a little bit rusty, everybody, so I might get my ass kicked. I am playing this on the hardest difficulty, by the way. I am playing this on ultra hard difficulty. All right. Oh, man, it's been a while since I played this. Oh, shit, I'm getting my ass kicked. No! All right, here we go. No! Either the AI has gotten stronger or I just suck at this game now. I mean, I haven't played this in a while, everyone, so please... I know you guys can make fun of me in the comments about how bad I'm doing. No! 
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. No. Damn it. All right. Nope. No, here we go. No. Take this. Get out of here, Lucky Chloe. Nice try. All right. We got this, everyone. Oh, my goodness. This is bad. Oh. Nope. Oh, I remember that combo. Hang on, I think I remember something. Let me try something out. She has a move where she, like, throws her head. Oh, God, no. Don't you dare. I forget how you throw her head. There's a move where she throws her head. Oh, there we go. I figured it out. I got it, everyone. All right, let's try this again. That's a good combo. All right. Yeah, it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me, everyone. Nice. I'm not as rusty as I thought I was. Yeah, no, I do like this game, everyone. I mean, this game's not perfect. I mean, like I said, the story mode in the game, which I tried to do a playthrough of that on my channel, and I just, I, I couldn't do it because I just got, I got freaking bored of it. It was really bad. I mean, it's, it's not, it's not the greatest story in the world. I mean, it's. Oh my god, why are we fighting all the waifus here? Now we're fighting Elisa? I swear, the next fighter is like Nina, I mean, or Anna, I'm just, you know, that's it, I mean. Why is why is the game making me fight all the waifus? Was it because of the main menu? Because I was gossiping over all the ladies on the main menu? Maybe, I don't know. Alright, here we go. Let's do this! Vampire lady, you're going down. Oh, you're so beautiful. Alright, here we go. But you must die. Take that. Oh no. No. Here. Oh, tear. Keep my head. Nope. I want you to have my head. Damn it. Oh my god, this is bad. This is so bad. My arms. My arms. Oh my god, I'm doing terrible. This is not going well. Okay, hang on, everyone. Harry, hang on. I got this, everyone. I got this. Trust me. Oh my god. Yeah, the AI has gotten a lot harder since I last played it. Or maybe I'm just rusty. Could be either one. I mean, the AI is actually being really challenging. I'm not going to lie. Son of a gun. Yeah, it's just, it's just pretty challenging. That's all it is. Yes, baby. All right, we're making a comeback. Come back, everybody. Shit. Well. Nice. Man, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm having so much fun revisiting this game, even though it's been. Guys, I haven't played this game since like a year. I'm not joking. It's been a long ass time. I actually have to reinstall this game on my console, but so far I'm enjoying it. Woo! Nice combo. Oh, crap. Spoke too soon. Oh, my God. Come on. Yeah! Fight. Huh. Chainsaws! Oh, I gotta take the chainsaws out. Hang on, everyone. Grab. Throw the head! Throw the head! Whew! Yeah, it's all coming back to me, everyone. It's been a while since I played this game. Not gonna, not gonna lie. What the heck, Katarina? No, it is! It's just the waifus, dude. It's all the ladies of Tekken. What the freaking freak? My god. This is, uh, this is insane, dude. Come on. They gotta throw at least one male character at me. Otherwise, I'm gonna feel kind of bad that I'm just... I mean, is it sexist to just beat up female characters? Or is it not sexist not to beat up female characters? I don't know, but... This is some domestic abuse going on here. 
Oh god, oh god. Yeah, baby. Oh no. Uh, must take out the chainsaws. No! I was gonna take the chainsaws out. Yeah! Oh, I was trying to trick her. Grab. Nope. Grab her! Nice! Woohoo! Round two. Fight. Fight. Ouch. Whoa, shoot. No. Dang. Nice, Jerry. Nice. Don't step music. Uh oh. Got her. Here's a present. Oh. Present. There you go. Bye. What? Oh, she gave me back my head. Oh, we both traded. Nice. Whew. Oh, no. It's Heihachi Mishima. Crap. All right. Well, finally, we fight a guy. I was starting to feel bad there, man. I was like, come on, game. What was all the... It was literally all female characters. I, I wasn't kidding. It was... It was uh, what was it? Uh, first fight was with... Uh, I already forgot who I fought. Who was my first fight? Wow, I have gold fresh memory. Was it... Uh, damn it, who was it? Was it Lily? No, it wasn't Lily. God, I have goldfish memory. I'm sorry, guys. I know my second fight was Eliza. Oh, oh shit. Ouch. Ow. Ow. Ooh, I got him. Nice. I know I like saying nice a lot, everyone, but yeah, that's my catchphrase. It's just a forceful habit. I like saying that a lot. Crap. Woohoo. Ooh, let me try that combo. Forward, forward X, triangle. Yeah, chainsaw. I'll do that. Damn, how is he not dead from that? That's gotta hurt, man. Chainsaws. No, Lisa. Yeah! Oh, he ducked it! He ducked it! Dang it! Almost got him with that. No! Oh, I'm still alive. What the hell? <laughs> that was funny as hell. Uh, one thing I can tell you, revisiting this game, I do love that slow motion. That slow motion gimmick still holds up extremely well. I remember, um, I, I mean, Soul Calibur 6 has that mechanic with the, I forget what, what you do. You do a move in Soul Calibur 6 where you like, you charge your weapon and then you hit him and it goes into slow motion mode. But this is way more entertaining than that because it's on the final hit. You don't know who's going to land first, so it always creates a lot of suspense. It's good at tournaments. Anytime you see that at tournaments, it's absolutely amazing. Now we're fighting Akuma from Street Fighter. What the freak? You're in the wrong game, asshole! Oh no. This is no no equal. You are powerless! Against me, mother! Huh! You stink, Akuma. No one likes you. You're the cheapest character in Street Fighter history. The only people who likes to play as you is Sunyan Metalhead. K 
Kicking some butt. I really gotta remember how to play this game. It's been too long. I mean, I remember some combos, but I think since I've been playing a lot more games recently, I literally forgot how to play Tekken. I remember I used to be the Tekken god back in the day, but now I'm starting to get rusty with Tekken. I don't know what happened. I used to be really damn good at Tekken, but now I'm starting to like... I guess because I've been spending too much time playing Mortal Kombat, I kind of forgot how to play Tekken now. When you learn something, you actually de-learn something. Does that make sense? Like, I think when you learn something new, you de-learn something old. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Oh boy. No! Kuma! Get the hell out of here. Woohoo! We're kicking Akuma's butt, everyone. No! Dang it! No! Curse you! Ooh! Nice. Wow, I jumped into that. Nice. Let's get him with this. He's done for everyone. KO. All right, everyone. We did it. We beat Akuma. And then he gets really mad. Well, that's a weird way to end the game. All right, everyone. So that's an arcade playthrough, but we're not going to end it there. We're going to jump back into another one. I can't end it like that, everyone. That was too quick. Um, so I'm going to be playing as somebody else. So Elisa, I do remember liking her. Uh, let's see. Who else do we try? Let's, uh, you know, I remember really liking Lee Chow Lane. He's a pretty fun character. Let's try him out. He's a pretty damn fun character. Try him out in that red outfit. Yeah, this game's fun. The only thing that I would admit a lot of my friends tell me is that a lot of my friends will actually tell me Tekken is one of the hardest fighting games to play. And you know what? They're not wrong. Tekken requires a lot of skill when it comes to the movement because it's not really about remembering combos. It's the timing of the flow of the juggles and the way your character moves with those combos. It's kind of hard to explain. You just have to... you got to learn the feel of Tekken to understand it. Yeah, this game's great. Every, revisiting it, I'm, I'm forgetting, I forgot how much fun this game was. Especially if you have friends. If you play this with friends, you guys are in for a good time. Even if you're not a big Tekken fan, I do recommend this game. Maybe you'll like it. It is a great fighting game, everyone. Make no mistake. I do like this a lot more than DOA 6. And I did have fun with DOA 6, don't get me wrong. DOA 6 is a pretty underrated fighting game. It's not perfect, though. I mean, obviously, it's not as good as, say, Soul Calibur 6 or Tekken 7, but it's still a fun game, DOA 6. I really love DOA 5. That was my favorite one in the entire series. Yep, I'm kicking some serious butt with him. Man, I love the music in this game. Look how beautiful this level looks. It's like a Donkey Kong Country looking level, or, or uh, Uncharted. I'm getting my butt kicked by Lars here. Ouch. I'm dead. Dang it. I love the music in this game. Nice combos, Jerry. Oh. Yeah, Tekken's always been a great series, though. I've always loved how the combat feels. Tekken doesn't really feel like any other fighting game out there in terms of, like, I guess the closest thing you can compare it to is, like, Virtual Fighter. 
But, you know, there's just not that many great 3D fighters anymore. I mean, everything plays like a 2D fighting game. Ooh, we're fighting Nina Williams, a.k.a. the hottest mom in video game history. Um, pretty much, yeah, like, Tekken has always had this feel that I can never explain with other fighting games. You know, it doesn't feel anything like a Street Fighter or a Mortal Kombat. It always felt Tekken. Tekken has always felt like Tekken. Nothing really com to compare it to. At least in my opinion. I'm sure somebody else can be like, nah, Tekken feels like this, or, you know. Should she really be in that wedding dress in this, you know, cold? I'm just saying. You're not wearing any pants, lady. I'm just saying. Then again, she probably has that gun to keep her warm. Ooh, dang, nice. Woohoo! Uh, I don't think it's going to kill her, though. Oh, it did! Dang! Oh, that was a big-ass combo. Man, I'm starting to like Lee a lot. Forgot how good he is. Then again, I really dug him in Tekken 5. In Tekken 5, he was one of my mains. Oh man, I almost had a combo there. Woo! Nice! And I forgot how good this game is, everyone! So much fun. Ouch. My turn. Oh, I was about to do my stupid super move. Alright, that's okay. We got this, everyone. Ow. Ah, stop it. Yeah, you're pissing me off. I was on fire a second ago. Damn it. Lady. Hey, no, stop it. Dang, we sent her flying. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Bill and Ted reference, everyone. Excellent! Yeah, Lee's a really good character. I've always... It's so funny, because back in Tekken, like, 1 and 2, he was just a clone character. He was just meant to mimic characters like uh, Law from Tekken, but now he's become his own character. Apologize you guys heard that. I was taking a sip of uh, oh, some lemonade I had here. I got thirsty from all the talking. I'm sorry. You know me, I like to yap my mouth a lot while I play games because that's what I am. I'm a commentator and a gamer. And a comedian. Oh, I'll stop. Stop being boastful. They are, Master Raven. Hey, I just thought of something. In those girl pictures, you know how they're showing all the girls at Tekken? Did Master Raven come out in that, in that uh, thing? I don't even think I saw her, or did I? If she wasn't in there, hey, Tekken, come on, show some love for Master Raven. She's waifu material, too, as well. I mean, look at them dreadlocks. Oh, God. She blocked it, everyone. Damn, the music in this game is crazy. Really went dubstep in this game. Ow! Whoa, what the heck? Ooh! Punch! Ow. Oh, dang it. Crap. This is not. Oh, lady. 
Miss. She's gonna break me through that wall. No. Curse it, she kicked my shin. This music's too dubstepy for me. Come on, fall for it, lady. Come on. Dang, son. Yeah, I actually think I got what it takes to play Tekken. All right, everyone. So after this, I'm going to do one more arcade run with one more character. And that's it. I think that'll make a decent video on YouTube. I don't know what I'm going to call this. I think I'm just going to call it... Let's revisit tech and see if it still holds. I'm sorry if I'm really quiet. You know, when, I, when I'm real quiet when I'm playing a game, it just means I'm really into it. Sorry, I apologize. I know I should be commentating. Um, yeah, like revisiting Tekken 7, I, this game's still fun. Is it perfect? No. I mean, obviously the biggest problem I had with Tekken 7 back then was it just has a, it has a lack of content. If you're playing it for the fighting, though, which the game shines for, and if you play it online, the online is amazing for this game, and the fighting is good. So if you have online for this game, you're going to have a great time. If you're an online fighter, this is where the game really shines. However, if you just want a single player game with a lot of content, I might recommend something like Injustice 2 that has like a lot more content. Or even, hell, even MK11 has a lot of single player content despite its shortcomings. Because the biggest problem I have with MK11 is all the freaking microtransactions. That is bullcrap. But game's great though. It's a great fighting game. I played it with a lot of my friends and we all universally agree the game is fun as hell. MK11 is a great fighting game. I even did a playthrough of it on my channel with Sunyan Metalhead. Woohoo! Nice! So what do you guys think? Am I pretty good at Tekken, huh? I guess I got. I guess I remember to play Lee a lot. Oh, it's getting intense, everyone. Oh, I did a taunt there. Nope. Ooh! I kind of wish this game was on the Switch, though. I mean, the the Switch needs more fighting games. When I see some more fighting game ports, like the only fighting game, like obviously the best fighting game on Switch, hands down, is still Smash Brothers Ultimate. Like, no doubt about it. We can all universally agree Smash Brothers Ultimate is one of the best fight. Hell, it might be just the best Switch game of all time. I mean, I think anybody wouldn't disagree when I say that. And by the way, no, I don't have a Nintendo Switch, everyone. I want to get one in the future, though. I do want to own one. If I do get one, yeah, I'll definitely buy Smash Brothers, and I'll probably do a playthrough of that on my channel. I have played it with every single one of my friends. Every Everybody has this game except me. I'm the only loser for my friends that doesn't have it. Every single one of my friends has Smash Brothers Ultimate and a Switch. By the way, Kasumi's a grandmother. Can you believe that? This is a grandma. She don't look that old. This lady looks, I mean, this lady looks younger than some people's moms I know, Jesus. She must be on that really green, healthy diet. I'd be like, what kind of lotion do you use, lady? Or what, what's your secret? Nah, I'm just kidding, everyone. I know why she looks like that. It's because she's a demon. She's a demon. She has the power to make herself look young. Don't trust the demon lady. Uh-oh, she pissed, guys. She pissed now. She's mad as hell. She's becoming Super Saiyan. Or something, I don't know. Yep, no, she's showing her demon form. There we go, look at that. Oh, I love the music in this level. Oh, man, that's so cheap. I this boss fight's really cheap, by the way, everyone. The Akuma fight is a cakewalk compared to this one. Damn it. Whoa. 
All right, let's do this, lady. Let's do this. Aha, she fell for it. Nope. Grab her. Yeah! Ooh! No! Dodge! Okay. Yeah! Bam! Slam dunk. Oh, I'm just trying to do one backflip. Come on, let me do one backflip on you, lady. Yeah! <laughs> that was a good way to end that fight. And then she disappears. And then it plays that awesome credits music, which I absolutely love. Yeah, I love the credits music in this game. That I do recommend looking up the soundtrack to this game. Not every song on here is amazing, but there's some really good songs on here. I'm not a big fan of the dubstepy sounding songs in the game, but the other stuff, like, you know, that credits music, which, by the way, used to be the main menu theme, but then they actually... Uh, the, the change, the season two patch this game got, ended up changing the main menu music. The main menu music's different now for season two patch, but I don't know if they can let you uh, change the music back. I don't know about that. I don't think there's an option to do that. Hey, you know what, everyone? You want to do something? You know what's cool about the PS4 version? Oh, wrong thing I did. Uh, the PS4 version exclusively comes with the ability to change the tech and soundtrack. Yeah, this is only in the PS4 version, sadly. So anybody on Xbox One or PC, sorry, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot do this. If you have PS4, lucky you, you can put, you can play uh, Tekken with every soundtrack from every Tekken game, like Tekken, Tekken 2, Tekken 3, Tekken Tag, Tekken 4, Tekken 5, Tekken 6, Tekken Tag 2, and Tekken Revolution, of course, Tekken 7. But where's Street Fighter Cross Tekken? The best Tekken of all time. Or how about everybody's favorite Tekken? Actually, where the hell's Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection? Actually, I think Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection is probably alongside Tekken 5, but I always count Tekken 5 and Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection as separate games. Hey, if Street Fighter can count Street Fighter 4 and Super Street Fighter 4 as two separate games, then I'll count as two separate games. God damn it. All right, so what soundtrack are we going to do? How about we just do Shuffle? Yeah, let's just shuffle the hell out of the soundtrack. Uh, is there an option to do that? I don't know if there is. Uh, oh, yeah, we can shuffle. Yeah, put uh, all the music, shuffle that. There we go. Save current settings, yes, let's do that. Let us change the music to every single Tekken song in existence. All right, now, I don't know the volume's too low, everyone. I apologize, I'll put the volume a little bit higher. There you go, is that better, everyone? So you guys can hear that awesome. Okay, right now it's playing Tekken. Oh, it changed the music again. I was about to say, it's playing Tekken 3 Ogre State, now it's playing Tekken 5 uh, music. I think this is from Tekken 5. Yeah, this is from Tekken 5, I remember that song. I love that oriental sounding music. This is the music I play when I'm cooking ramen noodles at midnight. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. All right, here we go, everyone. Let's do one more arcade playthrough, and that's it. And so far, uh, yeah. Re hey! This is Tekken 2 Jun's theme. Let's see how much of a Tekken I am. Let me see if I can name every single Tekken song here. Like, right now, this is Tekken 2 Jun's theme. Not only that, it's the arcade version of their song. All right, um, who are we going to play as next? All right, all right, who to play as next? You know, I really like Jin Kazama, so yeah, let's play as Jin. Jin's an awesome character. And let's use his Tekken 4 outfit, because Tekken 4, for those who don't know, Tekken 4 is actually one of my favorite Tekken games of all time. Yes, I know the game's broken. Yes, I know it was criticized, and yes... People say that game sucks, but you know what? True Tekken fans actually like that game. And if you like Tekken 4, I have a t-shirt of Tekken 4 for crying out loud. Our first opponent is Leo. And yes, that is a lady, by the way. That's not a dude. That is a lady. Says so on her driver's license, and she speaks German. All right, here we go. Jen Kazama versus Leo. Let's do this. And I don't know what music they're going to play in the background. Hell yeah, I love this song. It's the Dragon's Nest from Tekken 5. Round one. What the hell? It changed the song again. 
Why did it change the song? That was weird. Dang, let's do this. Now it's changed to Tekken 3 Eddie's theme now. Ooh. Keep changing the music. Now it's playing Tekken 1 music. Oh man, I forgot how good Jin is in this game. Wah! Round three. Fight. Now it's playing a uh, freaking Jack theme from Tekken 3 now. I'm such a nerd, I know all this music, man. I can't believe I know all these Tekken songs. I'm doing good. It's all coming back to me, everybody. It's all coming back to me. At first, I was pretty rusty, but now I'm getting it. It just It's like riding a bike. You know, at first, when you get on it, you might mess up. But after a while, you know, you just get used to it. And, yeah, you get really good at it. It's Oh, we're fighting law. We are fighting law. By the way, this stage isn't really new. It's an old stage, the Infinite Azure. But in Season 2, they patched it where now you play this stage... In the dark, because this was a, a day a daytime level, but now it's in the dark, so that's cool. Okay, now it's playing Tekken 7 music. This is the uh, arena theme. Round one. Fuck yeah, that's Tekken 3's character select screen. Yeah, that's Tekken 3's character select screen. Somehow this is actually fitting the fight, this music. Now this is Tekken 6 music! I believe this is the music that plays like in the scenario campaign. Yeah, I think this is from the Tekken 6's scenario campaign. I didn't really play Tekken 6 too much, everyone. Tekken 6 was like the least played Tekken game for me. Oh, but I haven't forgotten how good that music is. Hell yeah, now it's Lace Theme from Tekken 5. Come on, Law, you want a piece of me? Crap. Yeah, Jin's really good in this game, everyone, because if anyone's wondering. I love Jin in this game. Oh! Jin's good in any game, Law. Well, actually, except in Tekken 5. I don't really like him in Tekken 5. Tekken 5, he's garbage. He's terrible in Tekken 5. In Tekken 3, he was one of the best. In Tekken Tag, he was extremely good. And in Tekken 4, he was broken. Tekken 4, he was the beast. But in Tekken 5, he was eh. Tekken 6, he's okay. But in Tekken Tag 2 and Tekken 7, he's God. He's a, he's a god of a character, man. He is amazing in those games. Oh, look, another level that got an update. Twilight Conflict. This was also another daytime level. Now it's in the nighttime. Cool. Let's see what song it's going to play. See my nerd Tekken nerd music uh, history still uh, is present here. Let's find out if I know the song or not. Let's see if I know the song or not. Well, I actually don't know what the song is. Oh god, it's playing the stupid uh, Tekken Seven uh, uh, Funhouse Room theme. I forget what it's called. It's like Panda's level from Tekken Seven. This is the theme song for that character. It's not a bad song, but I'm like, ugh, it doesn't fit this level though. This does not fit the level. Now it's playing the uh, freaking, oh, what song is this? Sounds oh, it's the Tekken 4 game over screen. This song used to scare me when I was little, but this music in the background? This song used to give me nightmares when I was smaller. The Tekken 4 game over screen scares the shit out of me. Now that actually fits this level, actually. Awesome, now it's playing Tekken 6 music. That's the level that has, like, the airplane in the background. For, like this, yeah. That's exactly what that level is. Did you see how the airplane was in the background? 
In this level, yeah, and this is from Tekken 6, in case if anyone's wondering. Nope. Damn it! Getting my ass kicked. This is embarrassing. Come on, Jerry. He's blocking everything. Not anymore. He didn't block that. I'll get you. Yeah, revisiting Tekken 7 still holds up. Replaying it, it's still a great fighting game. This is this is actually funner than I remember it being. I, after I stop recording, I'm just going to be playing this for like the next few hours. I forgot how legitimately fun this game was. Combat is really smooth and fun, and it's it's fun. It's a fun game. Controls are nice and responsive. Again, everyone, you can get this game for 20 bucks. Uh, again. Oh, cool. It's playing another Tekken 6 song. This is like the level of all the gold and stuff. It's like the, the casino level in Tekken 6. Probably gonna change the song again. What song is this in the background? Hang on, I have to hear it. I don't know what song this is. Oh, I think this is from Tekken 6 as well. This might be a Tekken 6 song as well. I think it's like the rain, not the rainforest. There's like a, a level where it's like in a cemetery. I think it's this song. God, I'm such a nerd that I know all this music. This is making me pathetic, dude, that I know all these songs. For those who don't know, I listen to Tekken soundtrack religiously. I love every single Tekken soundtrack. There has never been a bad Tekken soundtrack, in my opinion. Oh, hell yeah, that's Paul Phoenix's theme from Tekken 3. Right, man, I'm gonna leave this option, because it's so cool. It just changes all the music for each stage. For each round, excuse me. Oh god! No! Oh no, sir! Okay, I don't know what song this is. What song is this? What the hell is this song? Sounds like some Delmay Cry music. What is this? Wow, I don't know what Tekken this is from. I don't know, maybe it's from Tekken 5, Dark Resurrection, or Tekken 6. I want to say one of those two. Yep, no, it's from Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection. I heard that instrument. Yep, Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection. Oh, this song is from Tekken 1. This is a Tekken 1 song, yeah. I like how I could just casually talk about uh, video game music and beat the shit out of the AI. I just realized I'm just talking casually about video game music and just playing a fighting game. Multitasking. Nice. That's how we're going to end the fight. Feel the fury. Yeah, um, I don't know who we're... Oh, it's Akuma. Okay. Yeah, I like the fact that in the PS4 version, you get the ability to change all the Tekken music. That's badass. I mean, granted, if you're playing this on Xbox or PC, you can always just, you know, pull up a folder you have on your USB and just install a bunch of Tekken music on the USB and play it when in the background. I mean... I mean, it's a nice feature having the PS4, but let's be honest, everybody who's got MP3s, iPods, phones, or USBs with a bunch of music, you can just put whatever the hell you want. You want to play Tekken and listen to Katy Perry's I Kissed a Girl and I Liked It? Go ahead. You have all, By all means, you can do that. Alright, so we're finding Akuma. And I don't know what song they're going to play. Let's see what song they play in the background, everyone. I'm excited. Round one. Oh, that's lame. I forgot, yeah. They actually play the same song again. Yeah, for the final fight in the arcade mode, it doesn't change the soundtrack. That's stupid. Yeah, this is not the this is the same song. This is Akuma's uh, battle theme. Lame, that doesn't change the music for the final fight. Oh well. Guess I beggars can't be choosers. Ooh. Yeah, it's lame. It doesn't change the music. All right, I'll stop complaining. Here we go. Who cares about it, the music? I know. I do. I care about the music.
Nope. No deal, sir. Get out. Get him. Alright, we did it. That's my dad in the background, everyone. Yeah, the guy who pays the bills in my house is yelling at me to turn the lights off. Alright, everyone. <laughs> Unexpected cameo by my dad in the background. He's complaining I left the lights on in my other room. Alright, so everybody, that was Tekken 7. <laughs> That's, yeah, we're ending the video like that. <laughs> <laughs> I get lectured by my dad at the end of the video. Dashy XP style. If you guys know who Dashy XP is, that used to happen to him in his gaming videos because he would always end his videos with his dad yelling at him. And yeah, I'm gonna end my video like that with my dad getting angry at me because I left the lights on in the other room. All right, everyone, this has been your boy Rosarasco15. Revisiting Tekken 7. I love this game. It's fun as hell. After this, I'm still gonna be playing more. I'm still gonna be playing more of this after I'm done recording. So, yep. If you haven't bought in Tekken 7 or 1, please, yeah, it's a great game. You're not, it's cheap if you haven't bought it. Like I said, you can buy this 20 bucks brand new. Get it at Target, get it at Walmart, get it at, you know, I keep saying GameStop. You know, GameStop, GameStop should be your last resort. GameStop, I mean, let's be honest, everyone. The GameStop sucks. I mean, no offense. I mean, let's be honest. Unfortunately for me, like where I live, I don't have a Target or a Best Buy. So it's either Walmart or GameStop, sadly. That's all that's in my town for video games. It sucks. So I don't really have that many options. But anybody living in the big towns, you know what you're talking about. If you guys have a Target or Best Buy, just buy them there. I'm sure they got them there for not that expensive. Or buy them on Amazon, eBay. I don't care. Just buy it for 20 bucks. It's great. This game's great. Had a lot of fun playing it. All right, everyone. So does Tekken 7 still hold up? Absolutely. Is it still fun? Yes. And uh, yeah, uh, I had a great time with this and hope everybody enjoyed this revisit of Tekken 7. I should probably revisit some other games. As to, actually, a matter of fact, I should revisit some games that I didn't even finish on my channel. Cough Cough Evil Within 2 and Cough Cough Resident Evil Remake. All right, everybody take care. God, and Tomb Raider, I didn't finish Tomb Raider. My, there's a lot of games I haven't finished on my channel. Listen, everyone, God bless. Have an amazing Friday night. If you guys are watching this on Friday night, or if you're watching this on Saturday, hope you're having an amazing, whatever, whatever day you're watching it on. Hope you all had a great day. Everyone, God bless. Have a great one. Bye.